tonight. Now some relief for residents in a Westchester community who say that a facility for troubled children is a big problem. And now we've learned a part of the Hawthorne campus will be closed. CBS 2's Andrea Grimes at the Mount Pleasant Town, Town Hall right now with more for us. Andrea. Well, Christina Maurice, residents expressed compassion for these kids, but there was an incident last week where a 17-year-old actually walked with a box cutter into a neighbor's home, and they say that issue is just one of many over the years. Tonight, many of them were glad to hear that one of three facilities on this campus will be shutting down. I think that's fantastic. Sean Pickering left tonight's meeting optimistic. A vast change from the terrifying incident last week when a 17 year old from Westchester's Hawthorne campus walked into his neighboring home with a box cutter. I did not expect much to come out of this meeting at all um, tonight, to be honest with you. So to hear that one of the three residences is going to be closing, the most dangerous one at that, um, I'm quite surprised at and very happy about. Hawthorne Cedar Knowles OCFS will be closing. State Senator Terrence Murphy made the announcement at the beginning of a packed public meeting tonight at Mount Pleasant Town Hall. The state regulated campus is run by the Jewish Board of Family and Children's Services. It offers schooling, residences, and treatment programs to troubled children and teens, many of them with mental illness. We failed a lot of people. The Jewish Board CEO David Ravel apologized to Pickering, saying he failed him and the 17 year old in their care. Ravel said they will now close their Hawthorne Cedar Knowles facility over the next six to nine months as the 54 kids there transition out. The community deserves that. We heard what they were saying, and I think that'll dramatically reduce the number of incidents that we have. Although the 17 year old from last week's incident was from one of the other two facilities on campus, Ravel says Cedar Knowles is the one with the vast majority of the problems. While many residents say they are optimistic change will come, others say more must be done. I think, I, I truly think the whole thing needs to be shut down. It's, it's just bureaucracy. I think this is the most positive meeting that I've been to. Well, the Jewish board says in the short term, they're also adding more fencing and more security. They've also hired a, quote, top-notch security firm to do a complete assessment on their campus and recommend additional safety improvements. Reporting live tonight in Valhalla, Westchester County, Andrea Grimes, CBS2 News.